This video will show you how to add a badge to your to-do list in MyPGS. You can earn badges once all criteria are completed. Start by going to MyPasco Connect and clicking on the MyPGS icon. Once you're in MyPGS, the quickest way to find badges you might want to earn is through the badge library. Click the Badges tab, then select Library. The badges library is displayed listing all badges available. Badges Library, you will see the badge icon, the badge title, any recipients that have received the badge, participants that are in progress of earning that badge, how many courses are required to earn the badge, and here is where you can add the badge to your to-do list. Simply click Add to my to-do to add that badge to your to-do list. Once a badge has been added to your to-do list, you will need to complete the required criteria to earn the award. Click My Badges to view your to-do list. An automatic badge is awarded to you as soon as you complete the included steps. Typically, this is a series of courses to complete. Automatic badges can be identified by a status indicator, shown here. Click on the badge name to access the details. A list of required courses and your status on each is displayed. You can click on a course name to open it and you'll be able to view sections that are available to register for. Once all the activities reach a completed status, the badge will automatically be awarded and will be listed under the completed tab of the library. So we're going to go back to my badges and we're going to view completed. So this teacher has already completed the data analyst certification. A manual badge is awarded when your completed work has been submitted and approved by the badge creator. Manual badges can be identified by a submission button. And here you can see submit for approval. Click on the badge name to access the details. Review and complete the criteria specified. View the rubric for information on how the submission will be reviewed. Attach files and comments as necessary evidence to support your badge criteria completion by clicking Attach File and then clicking Save. When all work is complete, click Submit for Approval. If the badge creator approves your submission, the badge will be moved to the completed tab of your library. If the badge creator rejects your submission, the badge will be listed under My Badges tab of the library once again. You can update and resubmit the badge with these steps. Click on the badge name to access the details. Review the submission notes for the rejection comments. Update attachments and comments as necessary to correct the issue. And save. When all changes are complete, click Resubmit for approval. When the badge creator approves your submission, the badge will be moved to the completed tab of your library. We click Completed, and you'll see this participant's Assessment Literacy Master Badge has been approved. So they've earned that badge. The badge dashboard is one place to see all badge activity. Click Badges in the tab along the top of the screen and then select Dashboard. Your dashboard includes the following features. Your badges in progress are displayed along the top of the dashboard. You can see what you're working on and your progress for each. Here you can see the status report, and this is where you will see your overall badge earning status and how you compare with leading earners in your organization. Activity section is where you'll see an overview of your latest tasks and accomplishments, and under additional resources is where you can review any resources provided to you by the system administrators. As you scroll down, you'll see the recently created badges section where all the newest badges that have become available will be listed. Click the arrow to access the badge library where you can add those badges to your to-do list. And that completes the overview of how to add a badge to your to-do list in MyPGS.